Good morning, guys. Thanks for joining me for another What's I in a Day as a Vegan on Slimming World. If you're new here, my name's Leanne. I'm a vegan getting back on the Slimming World plan after Christmas. And if you're coming back, as always, thanks ever so much for doing so. I'm looking super excited and I'm in my bedroom because we've had a blizzard overnight. Okay, it's not a blizzard, but there is a teensy bit of snow. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Yeah, it's not that impressive, is it, really? You can see a bit on my little mushroom down there. Um, yeah. <laughs> a little bit on the little shed roof. Oh, it looks quite good out in the field, although the camera isn't picking it up that well. You can see it on top of my fence there. Hmm. I was determined that if we had some snow, I was going to make a teeny tiny snowman, but I'm not convinced that I can even manage a teeny tiny one with this amount. Um, and also it's mostly ice. Damn. But as I look down the rest of the road, their roofs are white. You can see the microclimate in my road that I've spoken about before. See, these houses are in my road, but look over there, those more sheltered ones. <laughs> they don't have as much snow on the roof. <laughs> but these guys do. Ah, <laughs> oh, good times. Look at that little bush there in my garden. Look. All the little teensy birds in there. I don't know if you can actually see them. See all the little blue tits? <laughs> For some reason, the blue tits love that particular bush. Look at them all, they're so cute. I see three. Uh, I don't know if there's any in the bottom. There might be more. <laughs> so sweet. Look at their little bellies. Oh. Oh, and there's a robin on there, little... Oh, you missed it. Well, I missed it. <laughs> Get loads of robins around here as well. Anyway, shall we carry on with the day? Sorry, I just came into another room, but look at the robin sat there and there's a blue tit underneath him. <laughs> They're so cute. I don't know what's going on with the birds this morning. Look at that robin, he's just sat there looking. <laughs> Little fat robin, so cute. We get loads of um, magpies here as well. And one was just in the garden, which I was just gonna film, but then he ran away, he has something in his beak. So that's good, he's had some food. Um, which reminds me, I must go and replace the fat balls for them. Um, yes, the birds are going mad this morning though. I don't know why, they're all like in a bit of a frenzy. <laughs> um, yeah, oh, look at that little guy. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Magpie. Anyway, this isn't bird watch. Let's, let's eat some food that isn't bird food. <laughs> okay, so I've decided to go with the grilled cheese. Uh, the reason for this is because I want to do a bit of uh, meal prep today and I need to get that started. So rather than faff about, because I was thinking, oh, I could do this, that and the other for breakfast. Let's keep it simple. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to do my basic grilled cheese, but again with Marmite, Ooh, Marmite like yesterday, um, and my cocoa cheese. So exactly the same, starting my day on three and a half sins with this one. Um, I've got my teaspoon of butter on each of my pieces of bread, which is the naturally being spreadable. So that's three and a half sins just for uh, those two teaspoons. Bread is healthy, extra B. 40 grams of this is a healthy extra A, and then Mama is sin free. All right, here's breakfast. So I've made myself a coffee with 100 mils of Alpro Almond Barista for one sin. And my cheese toasty, cheese and Mama, grilled cheese, whatever you want to call it. Um, done it better than yesterday because my cheese is actually melted. <laughs> um, and that is three and a half sins plus healthy extra B and one healthy extra A. I just wanted to show you guys as well. I don't know if you can really see, I've had to zoom in, but normally that blank spot up there, <laughs> that's trees and the hill, and it's such low cloud or fog or snow cloud or what today, I don't know, but uh, yeah, can't even see it <laughs> on my kitchen window. So there we go. Um, but it has started, I think that's rain. It might be rainy snow. Maybe it's sleep. I don't know what it is. It's very damp outside anyway. This isn't a weather <laughs> vlog, but look, it's actually snowing properly now. Oh, is there anything prettier than the snow coming down? Sadly, it's not settling because um, it's too wet, but 
It's so pretty. Look at it in the tree. Oh, you can't really see. It just looks so nice. I love the snow. <laughs> it's really like not showing it to the best ability. Uh, can I focus behind the blinds? No. There we go, that's better. Is the light is like, cause it's really quite a lot, but the light, the uh, camera's making it look like not that much, but it's really quite a lot. And it's a lot like whiter <laughs> than it perhaps looks through the camera right now. Oh, how lovely and cozy. I do need to get the slow cooker going. Shh. Is that right, Dots? Okay then. Guess we better get a move on then. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do the slow cooker <laughs> um, experiment. <laughs> um, so basically, um, I'm gonna try and make like a beef casserole um, in the slow cooker. Now, this isn't something I ever did before I was vegan or vegetarian or anything. <laughs> and um, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making it up as I go along. I'm also using stuff I've got in. Um, and I'm also trying these um, out at Beefless Pieces for the first time. They're sin free, which is primarily the reason I picked Delta. It's primarily the reason I picked them up <laughs> um, to try them. I wouldn't normally buy beef pieces, um, like vegan beef pieces, but it's worth a try, right? And you know, a casserole is like cozy, cozy food. So I'm, I'm gonna make it a beef and bean casserole just to make it a little bit more nutritious. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you everything that I think I'm gonna put into it. Obviously this might change, so um, I apologize if it does, but this should give you the general gist of the thing if you wanna take a screenshot to make a recipe list. Okay, so um, this is essentially everything that I'm thinking I'm gonna use. So the basic ingredients, obviously the beef pieces, I'm gonna saute an onion, I haven't included garlic in this. Garlic is in the freezer. <laughs> so I'm going to saute off my onion and a little bit of garlic first um, in some fry light. In fry light, just in my pan. Um, and in the slow cooker, there'll be carrots, leeks, and mushrooms, along with the beef pieces. I don't. I think maybe I should saute them with the onion. Um, I mean. I, I think people cook them in flour, do they? I'm really not a very good cook. Anyway, that's fine. So we'll work something out with that. Now, flavoring, this is where it's gonna get good. Oh, beans, I'm using, I'm sorry about Delta. <laughs> right then, is this the part where you're like, can I be in the video please? Hello, what's going on boo? Hey, what's all this noise? Do you want attention? Because I was playing with you just now and you pulled my hair, didn't you? You did, don't look at me like that. You did. So now everyone's watching you. I know, you are such a good girl, aren't you? You are such a cutie girl, hello. You gonna come say hi? You gonna come say hi? Yeah, my baby girl. Where's my baby girl? She is such a cute girl. Are you? Hello. What's that? What's that? Good girl. <laughs> you are such a lovely girl. You are. Good girl, Dals. All right, then. You're going to be good now? Yeah, you're going to be good now. All right. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen. <laughs> As I said, I'm gonna pop in cannellini beans and kidney beans um, just to make it a beef and bean casserole, stew, whatever. Um, I'm thinking I'll put in some chopped tomatoes, just the ones. I don't want it to be like massively tomatoey, but it will make it just a little bit nicer. In fact, let's add some tomato puree as well. Oh, there's no tomato puree, damn. I'm sure I've got some. I'll have to go in and search in a moment, but I'll probably put tomato puree in as well. Um, in the freezer, I had this roast onion gravy by Slimming World, and um, I, ha I bought two, 
and I tried one and you know it's fine but it just tastes like vegetables and stock so I thought this would be a really good base for this casserole so I'm going to use that um, along with the chopped tomatoes and that'll be like the juice <laughs> and then for some extra flavour I'm thinking we're going to pop in a bay leaf or two, some herb de Provence, uh, paprika, not smoked paprika, um, just normal paprika in this case, just to add a little heat. I'm going to use a red wine stock pot. I'm going to use a normal uh, vegetable stock pot. And I've got some fresh thyme as well left over, so I'm going to chuck that in as well. So everything is pictured here except for the garlic and the whatever I just said, tomato puree. Okay, so this is a much more nicely laid out, <laughs> realistic depiction of everything that's going in. I'm not gonna use all those mushrooms. I think I'm gonna use half of the packet of mushrooms because I do want to have them for other things later in the week. So yeah, this is everything that I'll be putting in. Okay, so my onions are gonna get cooking in the fry light while I just get the rest of my veggies chopped up. Um, once the onions are nearly done, maybe in five minutes or so, I'm gonna add in a load of garlic um, just to get that going as well. I mean, you guys know that when I cook, I'm a hot mess, which is probably one of my favorite American expressions. So obviously I just was opening everything so I could show you easily on video what I was adding and then I knocked over my Eau de Provence. So now that is how much I'm gonna have to put in. <laughs> uh, which I guess is like, it's probably actually not even quite a tablespoon. Maybe it is a tablespoon. Um, yeah, <laughs> but hey, gotta be real. I mean, I guess I should be grateful it's built on the chopping board mostly. Anyway, there we go. So there's the Eau de Provence. We'll do some paprika. I don't wanna do loads. I don't want to be bitter. So maybe about a teaspoon. We've got a vegetable stock, oh for God's sake. <laughs> We've got a vegetable stock pot and a red wine stock pot. Obviously, you know, if you wanna sin it or if you drink red wine and have some lying around, then chuck that in, but it will need to be sinned. Um, what else? Tomato puree, let's do a great big, oh, it's brand new, I forgot to say. So it's not my day, guys. Right, let's put the beans in then. So we've got the kidney beans that I have drained and rinsed. <laughs> Come on, get that last one out, oh my God. I'm such a ridiculous, like, cook. There we go. There's always one left. Oh, there we go, I got it. I got it, guys. We've got the chopped tomatoes. I'll probably just give that a little rinse um, with a bit of water just to get that last little bit out. Uh, what else? Oh, the gravy. So I microwave this just to melt it. Um, sorry, defrost it. <laughs> oh, look, it's still a big lump. That was, that was really sexy. <laughs> oh my God. Um, <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna do Let's do two bay leaves, uh, there we go, and all of that thyme. I like thyme because you can just throw it in whole. And now the bin men have come. Really? <laughs> Shush! <laughs> oh my God, look, can you see the like flashing light? Oh my God. Right, okay, so you put the thyme in whole and then later on, like when it's all ready, you can just pull out like the big stalks and all the leaves will have fallen off. It's really good. It's good stuff. Okay, tomato puree, about three tablespoons there, maybe four, whatever. tomato puree is good. So I've got about a third of a tin of, God, it looks like a burger, that gravy. <laughs> anyway, a third of a tin of water in the tin of tomato is just to get the last little bit out. God, I'm killing myself laughing, look. <laughs> Here you go, have a lump of gravy, or alleged gravy. Um, okay, I'm just gonna try and mix all this together somewhat, and then I'm just gonna like run away because I'm fed up of it now. All right, so obviously this does actually look really quite dry. However, um, there is juice down at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna let it go for a couple of hours on high um, because the mushrooms will release water. 
and the veggies will as well, I think. And of course the lid will keep the heat in, um, hence the beauty of slow cooking. Um, but also um, there's nothing in here to soak up any moisture. So I'll just keep an eye on it, but I'm now gonna walk away from this for like at least two hours before I come back and check on it. I'm just gonna move it back in my surface a little bit. And I've actually had it on that whole time just to, so it can heat up. Um, my slow cooker, by the way, is a giant one. Um, I thought I might as well buy a big as, as big a one as possible uh, when I bought this one. So it is Crock-Pot brand. I'm actually, this is a really good slow cooker. I love this one. It's way better than my old one. But again, it doesn't matter if you have like a cheaper slow cooker. Not that this was expensive, but um, you know, they're all pretty good. So anyway, yeah, mine was just very, very old and gave up the ghost. So I think this one is something ridiculous, like five... 5.7 litres or something crazy. So, I mean, you can see how big it is. Like, look at it on my side. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, so now it's time to clear up. Yay! <laughs> um, I'm gonna sit down with another coffee for a minute. So that's another one sin to add. So we're on five and a half. I'm fighting an intense chocolate craving, um, by which I mean, I know the Bourneville fingers are in the cupboard craving. So um, yeah, I definitely need to get them out of the house ASAP. Um, I'll have to get mum to come and get them or uh, she comes down tomorrow anyway, so. Yeah, so in the meantime, what I'm doing, I just suddenly remembered I had a pack of these left, thank God. So I'm gonna have one of these. They're four and a half sins. So that's gonna put me on 10 sins, um, but I'm gonna try and keep my meals free so that I can have something tonight as well. Um, yeah. These are really, really nice. Um, chocolate orange rice cake bars. Um, they're just really like satisfying. Um, let me show you. In case you haven't come across them, they're accidentally vegan. I probably should have opened this already before I started talking. Oh my God. Ugh. Yeah, it's a pack of wild dogs got up my rice cake bar packet. Anyway, <laughs> if you... If you can see, they are actually like the size of a normal size chocolate bar. So they're pretty good. And whilst they are light, they have got that substantial feeling um, and they're quite chocolatey. So yeah, definitely recommend these four and a half sins from Aldi. And they're only 85p for a pack of five. Yeah, hello friends. Uh, yeah, I just thought I'd do um, some more like just prepping random things. So I thought, oh, I'll just, um, one of the things I'll do is roast a cauliflower. Look, I've just taken all the bits off this cauliflower. <laughs> this is the whole thing. I think this is the most uh, short-changed I've ever been on a cauliflower. So I'm very glad that I bought two uh, yesterday. This is the one that I had left from just before Christmas. So I'm going to go get one of the ones I, had yes I bought yesterday. And then at least I've still got one because, uh, yeah... <laughs> I can't believe that is teeny weeny. <laughs> this is the smaller of my other two. Much more acceptable size for a collie. Look, <laughs> this is the sad amount of florets I got from that whole other cauliflower. <laughs> I can't believe how small it was. It was like mini me. It was all leaf, no collie. <laughs> anyway, this one's better. So we'll do this one as well. This is more like it. Okay, so I'm going to sprinkle them with some harissa spices. Then I'm going to spray with fry light. And then I will uh, just give them a mix using my hands. So it really doesn't matter about being too, too accurate with this stuff. But obviously this is like a nice way of making it sin free. Um, I mean, cauliflower, I'm not gonna lie, it is a bit better if you roast it with olive oil, but it's still good with fry light. So um, yeah, okay, that's quite a lot of harissa. Uh, yeah, I, this is really nice because it's like smoky, slightly spicy, very flavoursome. Yeah, it's really yummy. Nicely mixed up, fry light and harissa spices everywhere, of course. Um, and my usual thing, get a bit of kitchen roll, just wipe around the edge of the tray so that there isn't any like fry light residue on there because um, it's just makes it a bit easier to clean afterwards. And that's that. All right, the other thing I wanted to do is, um, if you saw yesterday's video, my grocery haul, you'll see I bought two bags of parsnips. Uh, these are super cheap after Christmas. They're only 19p a bag, so worth making use of them. Um, and I'm just gonna peel and roast them. And in my head, I'm thinking I'll make uh, a parsnip soup from them at some point. But if I've got them roasted now, then I'm ready to go with that at any point. Parsnips, my two bags fit perfectly in the roast, uh, well, 
uh, what's it called? Baking sheet. And uh, I've just sprayed them with fry light. There's no seasoning or anything on them because as I said, I think I'm gonna make them into soup, in which case I'll be adding flavoring at that point. So I don't wanna over salt them. <laughs> it's about three o'clock right now. And it suddenly occurred to me I hadn't looked at the slow cooker. So let's look together. It's smelling quite nice. And I just smells like herbs really. <laughs> And I can see liquid bubbling, so I was definitely right not to add more liquid, I think. Um, I'm just going to open it and give it a quick stir. Mustn't leave it open for too long. Okay, I've done a quick stir. <laughs> Closed it again. I mean, it smells like casserole, so that's good. <laughs> it smells lovely, so that's brilliant. And that can just keep bubbling away for the next few hours. Hey guys, um, I've just got in. I wasn't actually planning on going out today. And then I suddenly remembered that I'd had a text saying my prescription was ready. Um, and it's in the town like where I work. So um, like it's a 20 mile drive basically. So it takes a good half hour to get there. Um, yeah, and then, and then I was like, I'm not gonna have time to get it tomorrow. Um, anyway, so I've just been down there and I've been out for like just over two hours because um, I had a little look in the shops while I was down there. So I got myself a new Sudoku book and I got some um, cleaning stuff because um, I went in the like pound shop down there and they've got the Astonish range, which is all vegan and certified cruelty free international. Um, so that was nice because I wanted to try theirs for a while. Um, anyway, and it is right now, it's 20 past five and I've just come in, still got my scarfy thingy on. And I just wanted to say that my slow cooker beef casserole is smelling amazing. Um, I am really hungry now, so, um, but I probably wanna eat in like an hour, I think. Um, so I'm just gonna have some more water. And um, I think I'm gonna do like, can I be bothered to do mashed potato? I think I probably can, cause that'll be so nice with mashed potato. Should we have a quick look? I haven't opened it. Oh, ooh, that looks good. Oh, I'm excited for that. I was definitely right not to add any more liquid. So it literally dry in the beginning, but actually, as you can see, there's plenty in there. <laughs> right then guys, everything is ready, if a little bit of a mess. So I've got some mashed potato that I made. Um, I used two teaspoons of my naturally vegan spread in there, so that's three and a half cents. Everything else is free though. Here is the beef casserole. Look at that, or beef and bean casserole, should I say. Yeah, uh, um, I'm not gonna lie, it smells so good. <laughs> See what I mean about this time? You should just be able to lift it out. Ow. <laughs> just don't burn yourself. <laughs> All right, here we are. Here's the finished uh, <laughs> dinner. It's quite large, I'm quite hungry. <laughs> um, like I said, it's three and a half cents and that's just for the butter and the mash. Um, obviously I've got my lovely slow cooked beef and bean casserole. And I've done myself a load of steamed green veg to go with it. I've got green beans, sprouts, broccoli, and black kale. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna put some salt and pepper on and then go and enjoy. And I have a lot, a lot of this left. <laughs> Hola. Okay, so here we have the remaining slow cooked beef casserole in three handy portions. Uh, large portions, but you know, um, my tea was too big a portion. Oh my God, I'm so full. I think it was the potato, in fairness. <laughs> Did a little bit too much. Anyway, um, so yeah, I've got them prepped for either later in the week or another day. I've also got my roasted parsnips, um, which as I said earlier, I'm intending to make a parsnip soup with. And I also have my Harissa roasted cauliflower, which I'll be able to add to other dishes. And that is the extent of how much I can be bothered to uh, prep myself for the week. Hey guys, um, I'm actually gonna end the video here. It's currently half past nine. Um, basically, I failed at being on plan today. Um, I don't really have anything more to say about it than that. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed the slow cooker recipe. Bye.